Wizards. Guess what? It's Kieran Trollcaller. I'm back for another episode of the Myth Walkthrough. And I'm excited, guys, because we are on our way to the Yakul Promenade in the Yakul Mountain, which is the last of the cats the that we have got to get Yacol on our side. The Mountain is a stunning display of the Siamese cat's sophistication. They replicated the environment from the rifts. The difference is that they built it themselves, a mini metropolis with an industrial cooling system. A star should be here somewhere. There's a star. Let's talk to her. Oh, hello, Master. How was the journey? Good, I hope. Yeah, because remember how I thought this would be easy? <laughs> I'm not so sure anymore. I might have screwed things up with the house genie, Seamus. I brought him this cute antique tea set only to learn he hates antiques. Antique! So Seamus is only willing to help so much. And of course, there's more. The real trouble here is that there's a rebellion underway. It seems the vassals, House Boombai, are rebelling against the Siamese. Come with me up to the basking grounds and meet Chairman Miao. The chairman has an offer. Some way we can get him to join the Agrabah Alliance. It's a start, at least, isn't it, Master? Let's go. Oh, yeah, because this will obviously work out well. I hope everybody's doing really good. I'm excited. This is a pretty, pretty neat little place. They've got this thing. Notice how the Siamese are all kind of lazy here? Yeah, that's the first thing I notice. They're sunbathing and chilling out. Let's head on in and talk to the chairman, Meow, and see exactly what the deal is. Ah, oh, yes. This isn't politics, sir. It's personal. The moment I met her, I knew she was the one, and nothing could keep us apart. Jeez, Frida, why are you acting like some kind of lovesick puppy dog? Stop being so serious. Get out and bask in the sun, why don't you? The chairman has guests. If the vice chair would be so kind as to excuse himself, we can move on to more pertinent business. If you don't want me here, then I will indeed make myself scarce. But we will discuss this matter at a later time. I am resolved. Okay, well, let's go talk to the chairman. So, look what the cat dragged in. Finally, we get the real negotiator from Agrabah. This prissy little genie gets on my nerves. It's Istar. My name, it's Istar. Istar, Mistar, Whiskar, who cares? Look, you guys want an alliance, right? Maybe you do something for us, we do something for you. Our vassals, House Bumbai, are jealous. So they started this rebellion. It's like they want to bring down the mountain for no reason. It's infuriating. We Siamese designed this mountain. We allow the brutish Bumbai to stay, but only if they keep the cool air coming. And that's what they'll do, because you, wizard, you're going to make them. Go down to the cat's bar and meet Prefect Josephat. He knows what to do. Oh, these guys seem wonderful. Okay, well, guys, if you're just joining us, this is the Myth Walkthrough. And this is my Myth Wizard, Kieran Trocaller. And this series is all about myth is all the time. Me, Master? Or were those cats really rude? Not that it matters, I suppose. For now, we just have to play along and find this prefect. Yes, she's right. Now, um, let's see here. We are in Mirage, which is fantastic. We are in the third arc. Um, about halfway through, or should I say, yeah, well, nah, getting close to it. Here's Prefect Joseph Pat. Oh, ahem, I'm sorry. You must be the one sent by Chairman Miao to help with the rebels. A sorry business, all this. Quite depressing, really. I've been trying to calm the rebels down, but they won't hear me out. Being a boom by myself, they see me as a traitor, of course. It sounds like the rebels have gone past the point where reason would help. They're actually trying to bring down the mountain? Bring down the mountain? Who said that? The chairman or was it that foul Gufang? Regardless, it's pure rubbish. Bah! Both of them bury their heads in the sand. If they would only listen, but it's not my place to say, not if I value my position as prefect. Speaking of keeping my job, the chairman wants us to arrest the rebel leader. First, we need to know the location of their headquarters. As you can see, I'm not much of a fighter, so it falls on you. Convince the rebels to give up the location and then go confront their leader. There we go. And so right now we are in the middle of trying to create an alliance against Xerxes, this warlord here in uh, Mirage. 
and um, that's kind of what's been going on. Yeah, pretty much, pretty much nothing too crazy. Oh yeah, we'll be able to knock these guys down pretty quick. Very, very good. Now, um, the whole idea behind the series is we're doing the entire main quest line of just the myth uh, school, and we are doing all the myth quest lines alongside it. Those are the only quest lines. Like, we're skipping all the um, side quests and everything, unless it's pertinent to getting a particular piece of gear or something. That's pretty important. And then we'll, like, fight it once, and I'll grind it offline. Because, like most games nowadays, there is an element of grind to them, and you just got to kind of be ready for it. And this one, eh, it's not so bad. But, I mean, when you're really looking at this game, and that's one of the great things about Wizard 101, you got literally, I mean... Hours and hours and hours of content. And if you play different schools, you'll find additional content. It's it's really, really uh, amazing how much content you get in this game. Okay, so here we Our go. headquarters is on the promenade in plain sight. We do not hide from you or the Siamese oppressors. You want more battle? Bring it. Very good. Hey, and there he goes. One way in. Oh. Let's go ahead and grab a wisp to fill up, because you never know what's going to be on the inside. Shouldn't be that hard of a fight, but I've said that before, and it's not really worked out for me. Let's head on into the Rebels' headquarters and see what, see what the deal is with them. Very, very nice. Okay. <clears throat> now, just a reminder. Look. The Siamese don't even deign to come down from the basking grounds and confront us themselves. This is why we must bring them down. Instead, they send some outsider to raid our headquarters. Let us return this outsider to the sender. Okay, return to sender to the sender. It's kind of funny. Well, anyways, let's go ahead and take care of them so we can move on to the next thing. Now, let's see here. So today, what do we want to do? What are our goals? I always like to kind of go over goals for what we're shooting for. Just so you guys know, we started this on quest number 73, and we are now currently working our way into it. We're on quest number 75 now, so we've already gone past a couple of quests, which is kind of nice. Now, of course, we're still kind of working with the same, um, with the same, um, tough parts about this is, is pretty much almost every other quest we do is going to deal with some sort of boss, boss fight or something. So I'm not sure how many, um, how many quests we're going to get through this one, but it'd be great if we could get to quest 80. I don't know if we'll get quite to quest 80. There's a few boss fights between us and them, but we'll just have to see how everything goes. Very, very nice. Now, um, if you're wondering where I get my quest list from, there's this really great site called FinalBastion.com. And what it does, it has a bunch of Wizard 101 guides, and I use I use this site for the quest line, so I can keep track of the main quest lines where I'm at, and what types of bosses and stuff, bosses and stuff I've been coming to. So if you're wondering how I know how many quests and everything, that is the site I use to keep up with that. It's a really great site, really awesome fan site for the game. You should check it out if you haven't. I would recommend. Oh, I see now, Master. It's not so much that they want to bring down the mountain as to bring down the Siamese. That makes more sense. Yep. That's why we keep Bistar around, because, you know, she's the thinker of the group. Here's our boss. Let's talk. It's about time. I knew they would eventually send someone to try to stop us. You are a lackey to the Siamese, and you will pay for it. Uh-huh. Yep. And, you know, one of the great themes of Wizard 101 is that, you know, we end up having to, um, end, end up having to fight, fight for some of these guys, right? Yeah. Or do their dirty work for them. That's kind of what we're doing right now. We're, we're kind of doing the Siamese dirty work for them, so we'll have to see how it turns out. Now, guys, if you enjoy this channel, enjoy the videos, make sure, guys, if you haven't hit the subscribe button, hit that subscribe button. Uh, and first off, thank you, all my subscribers. You guys have been awesome. You're helping us grow the channel, and it means a lot to see your continued support. Also, if you're liking the video so far, or even later on in the video, if you're enjoying it, make sure you hit that like button. Those are two free ways that you can really support the channel. Really helps us quite a bit as we grow, or to grow. Yeah, that's probably a better phrase, but it really helps us quite a bit to grow, and um, it's pretty awesome. Utah is taking the time to do that for us. Okay, let's go ahead and get this blade up. 
Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, guys, it's pretty awesome. The first video of this series is starting to climb up in views, and I thank everybody who takes the time to go ahead and check it out. Pretty neat stuff to see that going up. Um, very good. Let's go ahead and add that, that, and then we'll attack, right? Right. One more boost. Now, um, we're in, so this is like the third main cat house that we have to get on our side. Because we had to take, first we took uh, care of the, um, ooh, actually I can't remember the first group now. Anyways, but then we took care of the Clixcos, and now we're dealing with, um, House Siamese. You know, so that's pretty interesting. I kind of like it. Um, but here we're having to deal with some sort of rebellion to be able to get them on our side. I think we're ready to go now. Yep, let's finish these guys off. I bet you this will finish them off. 40 plus 40 and an 80? Yeah. Very nice. I like multipliers in attack boosts. Oh, 70, not 80. And do we get the win? Of course we do. I may be defeated, but the rebellion is not. Strike me down and another leader will rise in my place. Even now, the Ice Princess rallies new cats to the cause in the ice kennels where... Oops. Ah, forget I said that. Well, Master, I guess we know where we're going next. Let's go tell the Prefect. Very well, Istar. I got another macaw for a pet. Did you guys see that? Yeah, macaws, I, macaws are kind of like the throwaway pets I found here. So, the rebel headquarters is right there in the open? Doesn't seem like a very discreet place for it. But if you found the leader, jolly good. The Ice Princess? Hmm, can't say I've heard of anyone like that. It's certainly not an official title. I suppose we'll have to investigate. Down in the ice kennels, eh? That is where they make the ice that keeps the basking grounds cool. Makes sense to rally support down there. The kennel's level is just down the elevator. It's restricted to ice keepers only, but we'll have to risk it. Follow me. Very good. Now, I think we just went up a level. Yes, we're at level 124 now, so that's pretty awesome. I must have missed it earlier. Okay, so let's go ahead and continue down. Yep, multiple levels here. There we go. Let's go talk to the prefect there. This self-styled princess could be holding rallies anywhere down here. You'll have to challenge the ice keepers to find out where. Of course we do. Well, let's go ahead and grab a antique chest first. Okay, there's some ice keepers. Whoa. Got to check my health. Get rid of some of this stuff. Definitely ice keepers. You know, it's kind of funny because this is like the biggest of the cat settlements. Like, because we were over there in the other canyons, and the canyons were pretty nice, but they only had, like, maybe two, three main house areas. Here in Yakel Mountain, there's way more cats down here. We should have got these guys on our side a little first, way ahead of the other ones. There's a lot of them down here. Okay, let's, let's end this fight here. Hopefully they'll give up what we need really quick. Maybe not. Okay, well, let's give it another moment. Oh, that scoundrel. Do you see what he did? Did you see what he did? Ah, that was terrible. Okay. Now, right, let's get rid of it. Wow, that was a pretty big wand hit with 50% off. Okay, let's finish him off with this. It's okay, they can swing at me. I can handle it. I can take it. Now, I was just thinking, guys. 
Um, I also stream anywhere from two to three times a week. Um, so if you guys enjoy streams, I stream a variety of games. I stream some Blizzard 101s, Power 101s, and Minecraft. And we'd love to have you out there. Stream is a great way for me to get to know you guys, get to talk with you live on chat, have some fun, talk games, talk life. You know, it's a great time to have you guys. So if you guys like streaming, you come out and join us. By the way, if you end up subscribing to me on stream or you end up be joining my Patreon, you can actually get some nice benefits for doing that. Why you that. meddle in the internal politics of Yokal Mountain, I cannot imagine. But the Ice Princess is not in hiding. She's in the deep freeze. Okay, so there we go. Now we know where the Ice Princess is. So let's talk to old Jehoshaphat. She's in the deep freeze? Brr! I get shivers just thinking about it. Hardly seems a place for a princess, or anyone for that matter. I'm afraid my fur is too thin to brave the deep freeze. So, once again, the responsibility here will fall on you, wizard. Find this ice princess and convince her to stop recruiting cats to this mad rebellion. I will go and brief Chairman Meow on what we've learned. Ah, okay, so it's gonna be up to us again. But before we take off, before we head over there, where is that elevator? Ah, yes, there's the elevator right there. We're going to hop up there and wisp up. Yeah, for some reason, there's no wisps downstairs, or there weren't any that were easily accessible. Apparently, there's not many wisps up here either. Jeez. Place is not funny. That dull chest, how funny. Oh, no. Sorry, guys. Did not mean... Apparently, there's a silver chest below that, too, for shock a lock lock a lock a lock a lock a lock a lock a lock Okay, let's go ahead and go to the deep freeze. Yeah, we just want wisp. Sorry, sorry. I'd rather use wisp than use a potion, but let's just keep the thing going. We'll potion up just like that. Yep. Makes me, you know, why don't that? Why they just don't have wisps everywhere? Okay. Ooh, look at that stone. Ooh, look at how those. Look at those cats doing the ice. Very nice. That's where all the ice comes. Let's head on in and let's talk to this ice princess girl. Maybe she'll be able to give us some more information so we know what's going on. Now, Yakul Mountain, this goes anywhere. This goes from, like, quest number 73 all the way to quest 89. So that's where we're at right now. Okay. Two. I'm impressed. I knew the Siamese would send someone, but I didn't think you could handle the cold. Let's tan down the temperature, shall we? How funny. Okay, let's take him down. Okay, so we got a couple of fights here to take care of. Let's see here. Yeah, not much there. So all we really need is we just need a couple of good hits. We'll be able to knock these guys out. It doesn't bother me that they're using their pips on something low early, but it could be a problem if they start putting up shields. Yeah. Oh, come on. What's with that? Okay. Well, we'll do a frog too, but I, frog's not going to be enough, so let's put another plate. We might end up having to use a frog the way these pips are coming in. You see that, guys? Terrible, terrible, terrible. I feel a lot better with Orthrus, though. Okay, good. Those are those shields work for me. It's now the frog's still not going to do enough damage for us to use the frog, so we're still probably going to have to go ahead and and go ahead and wait. Ugh. Are you kidding me? Nope. Even better. One Mystic Colossus should finish this for us. Yep. Even with that. Excellent. Way better than a tower shield. For me, at least. If I was a storm guy, I'd be like, going, are you kidding me? But I'm playing Myth right now. Hey, by the way, I was telling you earlier, if you are a subscriber to us on Twitch, or you happen to be a member of our Patreon, yeah, my Patreon site, for only $3 a month, that gets you access to play along with me on our, um, on our 
whitelisted SMP server for Minecraft. So if you want to play some vanilla Minecraft and with a great small community, have a lot of fun doing some building and creative barge world, we'd love to have faster, you. But now that the cat's out of the bag, I have to admit, oh, I am a little chilly. Let's keep moving. Of course you are. Do you see that skimpy thing you're wearing there, Istar? Okay, here we go. First boss. The Siamese had me working down here so long, I froze solid. But somehow, I developed powers, too. Come closer. Let me show you. <laughs> okay. Freezy Cat. Let's take Freezy Cat down a notch. Okay, so we've got two boss fights in the row. We'll have this guy to take care of first. What the heck is that? Okay, sorry. And then we'll have to move past him. But I think we've got the perfect spell for him. Myth does have a nice spell for those for those shield things. And they actually do have a couple of good spells for that. Minotaur is a really good one for that type of scenario where you got to deal with a with a um with a shield that's thrown up in front of you. Um, in fact, that's what Minotaur was designed for, was for dealing with the shields, because it has that small hit and that, that big hit. Um, Orthrus used to be that way until they changed it into an AoE, so it doesn't quite do that anymore. But um, Colossus is also made for those shields, too. Unfortunately, now that he put those other two shields up, that's going to cause us some grief. Ah, okay. Um, you know, we need to go, we need to go ahead and... Um, get a few more blades up because that guy just made this fight a little bit tougher. Looks like we're going to have to deal with that shield either way. Ah, wonderful. Love getting stunned. But that's okay. You know what? I don't have the right thing. Okay, not a problem. Not a problem at all. Should we... Let's just do it. Mr. K... Uh, never mind. Dang it. He's being stunned. I love the ice conveyor belts down there just going by. They, they are making a ton of ice. Amazing. Yeah, this really chill place here in the desert. Very, very cool. I, I think it's... Is it our turn yet? Yes, I do believe it is our turn. So let's go ahead and Colossus them. The problem is it's not going to take away the shield that I need to take care of. It's going to take care of one of the shields that don't matter. The Colossus will knock out one shield before it hits, which is perfect. Total, It's a total myth utility, which is pretty awesome. Yeah, and instead of taking away the one that mattered, uh, so, so annoying. Well, we might still be in good shape. We, apparently, we had enough pierce to, um, to deflect. Let's see. Okay, well, we got rid of one. I really like, really like the attack. I like the animations on personal attacks like that. It can be pretty fun. Okay. Ooh, we're still a little ways from being able to pull that off. So, but anyways, we might get a chance. So let's just go ahead and set that up. Not really that tough of a fight, honestly. It's just the tough thing about fighting ice bosses is their tendency to throw shields up when you don't when when you really don't want them to, you know? I, honestly, we could probably try frog. Be honest with you. With one blade and um, a plus 70. We could try frog, but probably won't do the trick. Orthrus isn't much better at the moment. Ooh, decision making time, decision making time. Uh, let's do it. This is probably a bad choice, but but I mean with the with the faint it might be it might might boost enough. I mean, cause this will be 26, right? Plus a 70, maybe, 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 maybe. Yes, it was. Very good. 
Good night, Freezy Cat. Ooh, that was chilling, wasn't it, Master? <laughs> I made a joke! What? You don't think I'm funny? Fine. Last time I tried to cheer you up. Let's keep going. So we have one more boss to deal with. Let's see who it is. What's the meaning of this? An outsider? I know you didn't just wander into the deep freeze, so am I to assume the Siamese sent you? You assume correctly, but I'm not sure we came to the right place. Unless, are you the Ice Princess? My comrades have taken to calling me that, but it's not a title of my choosing. My name is Miriam, and I am really just a humble ice keeper. I was, at least, until I saw the truth. The Siamese bask in the sun while we freeze down here. They must fall, just as those who stand with them. Well, that's wonderful. Let's make sure that my deck has some... There we go. We do have prisms. Okay. We're good. So, one of the things you always want to remember when you're fighting your own class is always have a prism. Like, she's the same school that we are. So, you always want to have a prism in there to help you out with that particular um, scenario. Well, let's just go ahead and get a faint on her. And we'll continue like that. He's going to be annoying to watch. He'll start putting shields on her or something. And of course I'm stunned, so it's beautiful. Okay, the good news is, is if we want to, we'll be able to double faint her. So let's go ahead and get a big faint on her. And hopefully we'll um, avoid being stunned. That scoundrel tried to stun us again. Did you see that? What a low life. Not enough when you stun me on a spell or you just like do throw one stun at me, but then trying to go for it again. That's what I was looking for. A little bit of myth prism action. <laughs> Bam shaka. Oh, wow. oh, I think it's boom shaka lock. Yeah. Very good. Okay. Now if we can get a, a good AoE. Handsome Fomori time. Very, very good. Now, guys, if you enjoy this type of walkthrough stuff, you should also check out my other um, walkthrough series for the Pirate 101 game. Pirate 101 is another game made by the same company, King's Isle, which, wonderful, I get stunned again. Sorry. Um, which is also set up here in the spiral, but it has a different type of fighting system. It's all about pirates, not about wizards. Much different storyline, but you do visit some of the same worlds, which makes it super exciting. So if you like the lore that King's Isle has been building here in Wizard 101, and you want to see how that world gets expanded, Pirate 101 is the way to go. And I have a Musketeer walkthrough as well coming out um, on days that I'm not putting out this episode, these episodes as well. So you should go check them out. I mean, it's if, if you haven't really messed with that, um, with that, I think you're kind of missing out just a little bit. Okay, let's try to put something up again because it keeps stunning me. Oh, that scoundrel. What is with the f stun here and stun there? Okay, we got it. We got to take out one of these guys. They they are making it hard. I would already have everything up if I was just being able to cast the spells. But they are definitely um, keeping me keeping me down here. Okay. I just need Orthrus, or I need my other one to pop up, and I think we'll got these guys. You. Oh my goodness. Well, we know what their strategy is. Stun ya, and stun ya again. Yep. Honestly, with two blades, if I can get an, if I can get Orthrus up, I think, are you... Okay, whew. Sorry. Hoping that they didn't, she didn't throw up a myth shield. That would have really depressed me. Finally, got a blade again. They're going to try to stun me, though. Oh, and I am just not getting any of what I need right here. Yep. 
I mean, I, I, I certainly don't mind, you know, having Baba Yaga there, but I really need, I really need one of my AoEs. Well, at least it wasn't another stunning spell. Okay, now if one of them tries to stun me this time, um, I, I got the stun sh Are you kidding me? What the heck is wrong here? Okay, um, we're just going to pass because I, I don't need to put anything up. I just need an AoE. Yep, my deck is not, not working with me here. At least it's not critical, right? Okay, what's she gonna do? She's going for a hit. There we go. That is what I needed. Let's do this thing. <laughs> oh my... See how effective um, bosses that stun you can be? He was there. They're about to stun me again right there. Did you see that? If I didn't have that stun shield up, we'd be in... Well, we're already kind of kind of low. Being this... being Having your health down this low in Mirage, I mean, they can turn a, turn a hit around you and knock you the next Sunday when you're not watching. Okay. Whew. Finally, victory is ours. You've proven your magic is superior to mine, wizard. But you cannot convince me to abandon my cause. Until justice is done, I will not rest. The Siamese designed this mountain, but that doesn't give them the right to bask in the sun all day while we toil. Oh no, I knew this would happen. I told you, Miriam, you can't be so exposed. If you were lost, your followers would be devastated, as would I. Your concern is touching, my love. But what we're fighting for is too important. I can't allow our relationship to interfere with... And I wouldn't ask that. Ugh. You're just as stubborn as the chairman. Neither of you has expressed even the slightest willingness to talk. There may be a way to work all this out, however. Wizard, I could use your help. Let us leave the freeze and meet in Miriam's hovel. Okay, well let's go ahead to the hovel and let's go talk. But before that, guys, I'm going to have to call it. We're out of time. So, guys, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you slam down that subscribe if you haven't done it. Thank you so much for your support. This is Kieran Trollcaller for the Myth Walkthrough. Catch you later. Bye-bye.